Hi guys, Dave here again. This is part two. We're going to create this little eye box on the front of our R2 unit. Um, as you can see from this, it sort of curves and follows the general shape of the dome. Uh, it's got a flat face on it, best I can tell. Um, it's kind of tricky to get it to follow these this shape here. Um, you can't just use a cube and drag that out. Because if we do that, I'll just show you here. We'll just use a cube and put it in the right place. You can see we get a totally silly shape. Yeah, um, even if you rotate it round, you're still not going to get it. The right shape we need. Uh, you can see the distance between there and there and there and there is all out. So we'll delete that and we'll show you how to do it all the hard way. Um, Probably best to create a backup of your sphere, so it's Control C and Control V. And if you make yourself an object, a null object, call this backups. And drag a copy of your sphere into there. Of course, we don't want this to render anything, so we'll just turn it off there. Put our sphere on top, and let's get into it. If we jump to the front view, some polygons to select in the middle here. Go back to our selection tool. And you can see this centre line that runs up this axis, so starting about two up. Um, probably six by six is going to look right. Just like that. Now a copy of our sphere, so control C and control V. We want to delete these selection tags here. And on our sphere we actually only want these polygons. The easiest way to get rid of all the rest is just a selection invert and hit delete. Um, if you hit delete and your sphere vanishes, um, go back and just hit shift and click on your selection again and delete again. Sometimes the Cinema 4D tends to lose track and delete the object from this menu rather than your selection from here. That's no biggie to fix really. Um, right, we're going to go back and select all these polygons. So selection, select all. And from here we'll jump back to our perspective view. Spin it around. See what we're doing. We're going to extrude these. And offset work out the size. 60 should probably be about right. That looks good. Uh, you can see this backside is following the curve of our dome nicely. Which is what we wanted this front size we need to flatten out. So a little bit of tedious work here when you jump into points mode. You can see we've got all these other points from our original sphere. Um, points don't delete. Um, if you delete the polygons um, so to get rid of all these unusable points here, what we're going to do is selection, select all, right click, structure, optimize. That's optimize, you can either right click and grab there, or you can grab it from the structure menu. Functions menu, sorry, is where optimize lives. Anyway, get rid of those points, and now we have to do some tedious selections of these points. Uh, we'll get that one. And we're going to select all these rows across. If your arrow's getting in the way, Alt D to turn them off. Just one row like that there. Uh, we need to flatten these, which is the Y and Z values. Once you've got a row selected, come down to the size menu down here. Change that to zero and that to zero. And you can see that's flattened it off across there. And we're going to do the same for all these rows here. Um, shouldn't take too long to select them all. I'll just pause the video here to save a bit of time while we go through and do that. And we are going to do this top row here. I usually do it last because we're going to come down and do these columns as well. So I'll just pause here and I'll come back for when we go down the columns because we are changing a different value there. 
All right, so there we have it. We've flattened off all those rows across there, and you can see our front face there is getting a bit flatter. Uh, we need to work our way down now, so starting at that point there, down to here. We need to change this x value to zero. Which has straightened up that line there. Uh, we're going to do the same for all these columns here. So the x value to zero. I'll pause here to save some time. And see you again in a second. Alright, so there we go, there's all those points there selected. You see we've got a little twist forming through there. If you look there you can see it. What I want to do is select pairs of points, that and that, and change the X value again there to zero. Um just looking at this, we should be able to select all those points at once. straightens all those up. Um, obviously we'll need to do the same on the other side here. That's the value there. Alright, so we should now have a nice flat face there to work from, and a nice cube which follows our dome. We can take a look at this. Looks okay. You can see we've got some little artifacts happening in here. Um, it's alright because we're going to delete most of these polygons, and anything coming in at the end we can fix as we go. Um, yeah, that's really. About as much here, I'll leave this video here to save it getting too long, and next time we come in we'll put these little panels around the side here. It's these big ones here I'm talking about. So I'll see you then, hopefully.